Hmm. Now you're asking yourself, why does he have a bottle of milk of magnesia, a liter of sparkling mineral water, and an empty glass? Reason is, I'm going to show you guys how to make one liter of concentrated magnesium bicarbonate water. Why would we want to do that? Okay, reason is, if you guys were to pick up a bottle of good mineral water, Avion, Vitel, what you'll notice is they have a significant amount of minerals, namely calcium and magnesium, um, and a significant amount also of bicarbonate. Now, what is bicarbonate going to do for you? Bicarbonate is basically what good natural mineral water picks up um, in the process of its, its interaction with rocks and you're flowing over um, you know, different materials in nature. Um, what it does for us is it actually helps to balance the alkalinity in our body, balance the pH. Um, if you have indigestion and you were to drink a good quality mineral water, you will likely notice that the heartburn, the indigestion will subside. Also, um, you know, people tend to lose sight of the fact that water shouldn't be just something that's wet and pure. Um, water should obviously be clean and safe and free of bacteria and um, impurities, but it shouldn't be pure to the extent of say like a distilled water or reverse osmosis water, which has essentially had everything removed from it. Water is not meant to be that pure. Um, water that people have been consuming for a long, long time is not, um, does not display those characteristics. Good water um, has a significant amount of minerals, bicarbonates, and um, what we're gonna do today is make water that is a, a concentrate that you could then add to whatever water you typically drink to boost the level of bicarbonates in it and to boost the level of magnesium in it. So, I'm gonna show you how it's done. It's so easy, it's so simple. All you're gonna do is take a bottle of chilled, sparkling mineral water, something that obviously is carbonated, slowly remove the cap. You don't want it to release too much carbonation. Slowly we're gonna pour out just a little bit to give us some extra room in the bottle. Okay. Got just a standard store brand milk of magnesia, which if you look at the label, is nothing more than magnesium hydroxide, which if you were to consume it as directed, will make you go to the bathroom. It's a saline laxative. Magnesium will do that. Um, magnesium is a tough mineral for a lot of people. Um, it, the absorption of it is tough. There's all different forms. You see magnesium oxide. You see um, magnesium um, hydroxide. There's all different types of magnesium. Magnesium citrate. Um, generally, people regard magnesium citrate as one of the more bioavailable forms. Magnesium lactate also. But magnesium that's been dissolved in water is supposedly significantly more bioavailable, will not give you diarrhea, and you will get a much more um, positive effect from it. One of the main positive effects of magnesium being um, a calming on the nervous system and also improved muscle function. And a lot of people who are hard training athletes, a lot of times are deficient in magnesium and don't realize it until they begin supplementing with magnesium and realize, wow, I feel so much better. Um, so, all it takes is to give this a shake, and what we're going to do is we're going to add, we're going to pour it out and get three tablespoons, which is 45 uh, milliliters. Okay, three tablespoons, and what we're going to do is slowly add this. Right, so you get it all in there, cap it back up, close it pretty tightly, give it a good shake, and put it back in the refrigerator. That's going to go in the refrigerator for about a half hour, and what you're going to see is a little bit of sediment at the bottom 
of the bottle. We're going to shake it up one more time. It's going to fizz again within the bottle. And um, we're going to let it put it back in the refrigerator one more time, let it sit. And after that, it should be crystal clear. And everything will have reacted. And you'll notice that the water is no longer carbonated. It has no fizz to it. Everything is reacted. Um, and you've got a super high concentrate of magnesium bicarbonate. Um, what you would do is, seeing as that's a liter, that's 32 ounces, that would allow you enough for 16 two ounce or one quarter of a cup servings. And you would add, you would measure out one quarter of a cup of the concentrate, add it to a liter of water, and that would give you close to 500 milligrams of bicarbonate and almost 100 milligrams of highly, highly bioavailable magnesium. Um, give it a try, and if you consume, start off by consuming one liter of that water a day. Now, meaning one quarter cup of the concentrate added, added to one liter of your regular water. Start out with one serving of that a day. Increase it if you feel necessary. You don't want to do too much magnesium because it could screw up your electrolytes. Um, and still at a certain point, no matter how bioavailable it is, um, it will probably still give you the shits. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I'd probably start off with, like I said, one serving of it a day, you know, increase it from there. Um, but I really think you're going to feel much, much better. Um, and it's, and it's a cheap, it's a cheap way. I mean, if you look at the cost of Avion on a good day on sale, it's about two bucks a liter. Um, so it's, it's kind of cost prohibitive. So this I think is, is a, is an easy cost effective way to kind of boost the quality of the water that you're drinking. All right. So we should be good to go. The water's been sitting in the fridge for about a half hour. It should all be reacted by now. I'm gonna give it a look and see where we're at. As you can see, the water is actually perfectly clear. There's no precipitate, there's no white stuff. Um, it's actually completely reacted. And if you take this cap off, there is no, you know, I don't know if you can see it, you know, typically if I were doing this, it would make a lot of bubbles. If it were carbonated, the carbonation is gone. So, all I do is take a quarter cup, right? Measure it out and add it to a liter of my regular drinking water which is spring water which you know if, if you if you were to look up most spring waters I've actually looked up the profile of Poland spring I've done a survey actually about 20 different waters everything from spring waters to the various purified waters to mineral waters and um, I found that a lot of water, especially for some reason American water. If you go to Europe, mineral water is everywhere. It's the standard. Uh, in the U.S., there is not a lot of mineral water. Um, you see a lot of spring water. Like to give you a comparison, and you know, don't quote me on these numbers, but I looked up Poland Spring. It was either Poland Spring or it was another common spring water. And it had maybe like 20 milligrams of bicarbonate per liter. As, a, as opposed to a lot of high quality mineral waters, which again are, you know, three, four hundred plus um, milligrams of bicarbonate. And again, also typically very low in minerals. Um, but again, this is a cheap, easy, effective way to boost uh, your intake of bicarbonate and also to give your body a really highly absorbable form of magnesium. And you know, the taste, um, it doesn't it doesn't really do anything. Actually, <laughs> it tastes a little bit like raspberry lemon because the, um, the the sparkling water I used. But if you just used the plain sparkling mineral water, um, it would have no taste. You would you would probably not notice the addition of it to your water. It certainly doesn't have a bad taste or anything like that. So I thought you guys might find it interesting. Um, like I said, don't overconsume too much magnesium. Um, you know. Minerals do need to be in balance in your body, you know, for your heart and things like that. So, um, you know, consume wisely.